Hey, today we're going to be working on the Lakota. No, we're not. We're not working on that. We're working on the Vincent. Never mind. Do it again. Well, hey, Sam fans and Doom Ticks. Sam Phil here. Well, today we're back working on the Vincent. We've got the thing all tore apart. We got new parts came in. Uh, we got a new piston. We're going to do uh, valve seats, valve seals. Um, I, we got a bunch to do, so let's get going. Well, all right, everybody, let's get started on this. Um, first thing we need to do is take the valves out of the head, and I'm going to go ahead and just mark these so I know where they are. We're going to put a one here and a one here on the exhaust valves. We're going to put a two and a two and then a one and a two like that. So that way when we take this thing apart we will know which ones go in what spot. So one thing you're going to need is a valve compressor tool. And this is what mine looks like. These are fairly cheap. I think you can get them just about anywhere. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the valves out. We want to keep these together. So we're going to go for this one first. Okay. When you do this is you compress this down. Then we're going to take the keeper out of it. And to take the keeper out, the best thing is a magnet like this. Press that down like that, and then we're going to pull these keepers out. Is that four? Mine doesn't want to compress. There we go. Oh, I have to readjust my compression tool here. Alright, let's try this again. There's one keeper. Let's get the other one. There we go. See, we got them out just like that. Now we're going to slowly release the tension on this valve spring. Okay, now we're going to keep all of this stuff together because we want all of this to go back just the way it was so nothing gets out of order. Okay, so there's our spring. Okay. Now we're going to push the valve out. There's our valve. Okay. And this is the way I do it. I just put everything together. Just like that. So we know exactly which one of those came out of what. Alright. And that's on the exhaust side. So we just took... Um, that's actually... I named that one number two on the exhaust. So let's see. Let's put it over here. And then we'll put one here. That way, when we have it like this, we'll know it'll co co coincide, something like that. Okay, let's get this next one. And the thing is, is this is just the very end of what my tool can do, <laughs> my uh, spring compressor. All right, so now we get the keepers out. Let this pressure off. Okay. Bring out. I'm going to set this one right here on this side. I'm going to take the valve out. There we go. So let's set them like this. And that way we will know exactly which way they came out. Okay, now let's go for the intake ones. Let me show you what this looks like on the other side. See how that goes? It goes right in the middle of the valve. Right there. So that's what it looks like. Got 
got it. So we said this is number two side. And there's the intake valve. Put it there. One more to go. All right, everybody, I'm going to leave you right here. I'm going to go clean these valves up a little bit on the wire wheel. As, uh, and I'm also going to clean the head up right here a little bit on the wire wheel. And I will be right back. All right, everybody, I got her all cleaned up. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these old valve seals out because we're going to replace them. So I'm just going to take my needle nose and pull these guys out. Yeah, these are worn out. Worn out. Good thing we're changing all this stuff out. Yeah, that rubber is toast. Even if we'd have got her back together without changing these, I bet it would have smoked. Alright, so we got the old ones out. I'm just going to throw these away. And then we're going to lap these valves in. Alright guys, now let's, we're going to lap the valves in and we're going to lap them in in the order that we took them out. So, we want to do number one first. So let's do the exhaust one first. And we also want to put these in and just check to make sure that they're nice and smooth and there's not any side to side movement in them. Let's, yeah, see, that's going in good. So what we're going to do is we're going to lap this valve in. Now, everybody does this a little bit differently. I don't use one of those roller hand tool things. What I do is I just clamp the drill on here real light and spin it with the drill. I know that might not be the right way to do it, but that's the way I've always done it, and I haven't really had any trouble doing it like that. So we're going to take a little valve lapping compound. I'm going to put it right here on the valve. About like that, I'm just going to kind of Spread that around. Alright, and this one is number one on the exhaust. So it's going to go in right here. Okay, now like I said, I'm going to take my drill and I'm just going to lightly chuck this in at the very top. I don't want to mess up the threads or any, I mean, I don't want to doll the, the shaft up at all on this, okay? And I'm just going to lightly push it. What we're doing here is we, we're just seating the valves in real good. We want them to set. Now I'm going to go the other way just for a little bit. We just want them to... Set in there real good. Okay, I'm going to take it out. Let's kind of see what we've got here. We should have a nice even pattern all the way around it. Which I think we're going to do just a little bit more. Get some more of that compound on it. And when we get done, we're going to clean this head really, really good because you don't want any of this compound in there because it will sure do some damage. So. Got some up here on the valve stem. I don't want that.
let's see what we got. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Let's. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're just looking for a good shiny ring all the way around that. That's pretty much what we got right there. All right. Okay, let's go on to the intake. Same thing. Um, this is just going to be kind of a rinse and repeat deal, so I'm going to go ahead and lap all these valves in, and I'll see you guys when we go to put the valve seals in. Okay, everybody, let's put these valve seals in. I don't throw them across the shop first. They just kind of slide over. Just, just like that. sure they're seated down good. Alright. Okay. Now it's about time put the valves back in. So we want to put them in exactly the way we took them out. So let's turn this around like we had it. So this is number one. So the first thing we want to do, we want to put some oil on this valve. So we can go through that new valve seal we had put on there. So I'm just going to lube it up like that. Set this guy in there. Bring it right through the top. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to put our bottom plate on, like that, and then our spring. Now we're going to need our compressor again. We're going to compress this down and put the keepers in it. These keepers can only go in one way. We got one of them. Let's get the other side. And sometimes you kind of got to move it around there to get those in. Okay, now we're going to let this tension off of it real easy so these keepers don't go flying across the shop. All right. Looks like we got it real good. Now, something that my granddad taught me, and I don't know if it's what it's if it's right or not, but after you get this in, if you'll hit it with a hammer just to make sure that keeper is where it's supposed to be. And that valve is working the way it should be. Alright guys, well I'm going to put the other four in here. And basically it's just exactly what you just saw. It's just kind of a rinse and repeat thing. So I'm going to get those back in and I will get back with you when we get done. Alright, we got all the valves back in. It's looking good. I think the head is ready to go back on the, on the machine. 
So, there we go. Hey everybody, we got the valves back in there and we're one step closer to getting that Vincent running. So, I want to thank everybody. Come by for part three. Um, we'll try to get the uh, piston in the cylinder, get the cylinder on the four-wheeler, and who knows, maybe we'll get it started, or at least we'll be a little bit closer. Anyway, I want to thank Drew over at Village Tactical. Without this stuff, you know, it wouldn't be happening. Um, also, if you guys can help me out by uh, liking, subscribing, adding comments, doing all that stuff that, that you should do to, to help out your YouTube guys, um, please help me out with that. Um, if you guys want any stickers, I've still got a bunch of stickers left. This is what they look like. If you'll send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to my P.O. box, it's in the description below. I'll send you some free stickers. Hey, man, it's been great. Stand by for part three of the Vincent. Hopefully, we'll get that cylinder and piston put back in there. And who knows, maybe we'll get it running. Anyway, this is going to be sand fill out. Be safe on the dunes.